So over here, you can see that I got some subtitles right here. And let's say I want to change out the style of subtitle that I see right here. So in that case, what you can do is you can go under style right here under the inspector section. And here you can see that you can change out character, stroke, transformation, and apply different effects onto it. So for this, I'm going to go around onto character and let's just go around change out the font that I wish right here. So once I do that, you can see that the font that I selected gets applied for all of the subtitles that I have right here. Let me just go around onto caption right here and press enter. And let's just go around and say, hello there. Hi, just like this. And you can see that this is on the second line. If I were to go around under style right here, now what I can do is I can change around the font face to italic or normal, depending on the font that I selected as well. And I can go around onto the color section, click on it to get the select color option just like this. And you can go around to the color that you want right here. And that is applied as well. You can change around the size of the subtitles, change around the line spacing. That is the spacing in between the top and bottom text right here. And then you can work around with the kerning right here. You can push this in or pull, uh, push this out as you can see just like this. So once that is done, you can go around and align this to the left center or justify it out over here just like this as well. So you got the alignment option over here as well uh, for the character. If I were to minimize this and expand the stroke, then you can go around, change around the stroke um, in the text as well. You can go around, add a color right here to make the subtitle more distinct, as you can see, by choosing out a color that you want, just like this, and you can press OK. So once you do that, you can see that this is the stroke applied onto it, and there's a color applied as well. Apart from that, you can apply effects such as drop shadow right here, just like this, change around the blurriness, and then work around with the opacity as well. So this is what you have, as you can see right here. So you can choose out color as well. Now let me just go around into offset and change it out. And you can see the shadows right here that's changing position. You can also input the values by typing it. And you can change around the opacity to see those shadows as you can see and blur it out over here just like this as well. So this is applied on to all of the uh, uh, subtitles uh, as you can see right here. So you can see that it is very, very detailed. You can turn this off as well well, or turn it back on and even choose the color of the blur right here, just like this. Apart from that, you can add in a background to the subtitle as well and choose a color of the background right here. Let me just go around, press OK, and you can go around and add in, let's say, outline width, change around the corner radius right here, just like this as well, and change around, let's say, the opacity of the background just like this as well. So this is what you have, as you can see right here. You can override the sizing right over here as well and change around different settings right here. So now you can go around and then see that it has been applied on all of the subtitles that I have right here. But sometimes I may just need to change a style for one subtitle while it is the same for others. So in that case, you can go around under caption and here you can see add new track is an option. Uh, not, not add new track, but use track style is an option. So you can click on this and then you can see that the subtitle style is still there for the other subtitles where use track style is an option. But if I were to go, go around over here and you can see it's unchecked here, what happens is that there's this different caption style. So you can work around with the size and then you can change around the alignment right here, just like this. And then you can go around, change around, let's say the font for this. And it becomes different from rest of the sub subtitles that you see in the timeline. So you can individually style it as you can see just like this. And that is how you can work around with the subtitle formatting options inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.